One of the things that's so amazing about riding around Israel is that the street names, they're not just names, but they mean something. They have a background to them. Just recently I was riding in Be'er Sheva and I was looking for a street called Rechov Malachi. And as I came down Shifte Yisrael and I couldn't find where Rechov Malachi was, I passed the first street sign on my right and it said Chagai, Rechov Chagai. And I said, oh, I know because I learned Matmidim after Chagai comes Zechariah and then must be Malachi. And sure enough, after Rechov Chagai came Rechov Zechariah and the Rechov Malachi. The streets here, they have names, they correlate with history, with people, with Jewish heroes and Jewish leaders. Let's check out a really, really cool street in Jerusalem, one of my favorite streets in the whole Jerusalem. It's got so much exciting stuff. Come on, let's check it out. Israel, This here is Rechov Ben Yehuda in Yerushalayim. It's a very busy area called Ben Yehuda, and it's got all sorts of cool and fun stuff that goes on here all the time. Rechov Ben Yehuda has a very interesting history behind its name. Let's take a look at some of the things that happen on Rechov Ben Yehuda, and then let's find out who Rechov Ben Yehuda is named for. Let's go check it out. Ben Yehuda is like an outdoor mall full of restaurants, shops, places to sit, grab a coffee, a slice of pizza, or buy some last minute things at any point of day or night. In fact, Ben Yehuda is such a busy and popular place, it is one of the highlight places to find some of the greatest street performers in the entire country of Israel. It's absolutely amazing. Eliezer Ben Yehuda was very smart. When he was a little boy, he lived in Russia and spoke Russian. Privet. And studied the Torah in Hebrew every day. Shalom. And when he grew up, he traveled to France to study. So naturally, he learned to speak French too. Bonjour. While studying in France, Ben Yehuda read about a group of Jewish people living in the land of Israel. Israel. That is where I was meant to be. I should go right now. Monsieur, you forgot your newspaper. So Ben Yehuda picked up and moved to the holy city of Jerusalem. Wow, so this is Jerusalem. Amazing. Everyone seems so friendly here. Shalom. Privet. Shalom. Bonjour. Shalom. Guten Tag. Shalom. Marhaba. Marhaba. This is very confusing. I know, let's speak Hebrew in the land of Israel. Shalom. 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 Now that's more like it. Tov me'od. Ben Yehuda was excited to make Hebrew the language of Israel. So excited that when he started a family of his own, Hebrew was the only language he would speak at home. Boker tov. Boker or. Boker tov. Boker tov, Abba. But speaking Hebrew wasn't as easy as he had hoped. Kelev. Tov me'od. Chatul. Tov me'od. Oh, yummy yummy? Mmm. Uh-oh. Hebrew was so old that they didn't have words for new things like ice cream. 
I'll invent a new Hebrew word for everything that doesn't have one. Hmm, there's no Hebrew word for ice cream. How about glida? Glida. I will call this dictionary milon. I will call this cauliflower kruvit. When he could, Ben Yehuda used words from the Torah to create new ones. In his lifetime, Ben Yehuda invented more than 300 new Hebrew words. <laughs> Today in Israel, people live, work, and play in Hebrew. Thanks to Eliezer ben Yehuda. From a cold and rainy street corner, in, on Rehov ben Yehuda in Yerushalayim, we'll see you next time on our Zainu. <laughs>